if you didn't think there would be marriage proposals to household appliances, you haven't been watching Gintama enough. And that said, if you actually saw the last episode and the massive amounts of ingestion and then regurgitation of properly cooked food, why would any of us watch it any further? But with such delectable content ahead of us, what's there to be afraid of? Day by day. And with any of the previous arcs, if you can even call them that, that we've seen in Gintama, there's always some like strenuous link to it being like, oh, actually, no, this world is pushing forward and people are growing. And yet also returning to the status quo of what we expect. But now, do we have to keep an eye out for any particularly s slightly windows, well, li windows left slightly ajar, in case there's any detectives peeking out? And talking of detectives, are we ever going to see the hard boiled one again? And also remembering back to the movie and the almost sacrifice Hasegawa made and facing the entire enemy alone, I kind of want things to work out slightly better in his life. <laughs> yep. No rest. Threat of physical punishment is a powerful reminder of what you need to study. The thing is though, is she going above and beyond what he actually needs to learn to pass the class? Possibly, but at the same time, there are things that I've learned which I never thought would actually be put into practice. And pick the card. I hope he learns quick. I see he takes after Gintoki in his way of catching them. The best way of studying history is to relive it, apparently. He's going through the battles first hand. She actually did. I mean, it's effective for all the wrong reasons. Of course, yeah, they are interchangeable in a teaching methods. There's not really much of a, a change in her use of teaching, is there? Oh, no. I mean, from what we've seen, he was asleep most of the time, or staring out the window.
If he's getting paid, then yeah, what's, what's the issue? And who would be the one delivering that cake? I mean, we've had the end of credits like Gimpash Sensei. She bought treats. <laughs> Maybe, uh, I get this reference, actually. Unfortunately, Kentucky probably isn't in quite as adapt as escaping assassination methods. How many people are going to have the... the threat of her living down their necks by the end of this? If this actually were if this actually works to help him memorize it and some of us have not really gotten past that stage the thing is how much of this is actually uh, true to Gintama's history. <laughs> How many of us would want to watch that film? There have been many cases of planetary annihilation in In the history of this show. See? It worked. Just relate things to monkeys and bananas, apparently. There is definitely more to history than just all of the battles that have taken place throughout the years. Monkey people or samurai or whoever it is. Hmm? You know... Does Gintoki actually know anything about history? He's actually doing the learning himself. Hmm. She had to step in after a while. <laughs> Unfortunately, is there some characters that are very distantly related then? Hmm. Of course, everything in this world comes down to bananas. I'm convinced that by the end of this, he's actually going to get top marks in the class for this. Someone else was wearing them. Oh, 
When in doubt, just create like an Excalibur Omega or the uh, Lance Armstrong cannon thing. Ah. It's like Suzanne's sister. Rather than just brushing it aside, just what you're not going to try and correct any of the massive flaws in Kentucky's knowledge. So real history, nah, not good enough. Not enough explosions. Get Michael Bay involved. Huh. You see, even... Even Tsukiya can't... Can't escape from the insanity that whenever... Whenever stories start getting invented. Why don't you call the master? Get Katsura involved. And that... That was how the universe was created. So now that we've gotten to the creation of the universe, let's take history and how it actually unfolded afterwards. Still waiting for that cake. Oh, I remember the preview bit <laughs> well you've gotten Gintoki's interest or attention <laughs> but at least he's trying to keep things clean Oh, it's just an actual case of, it's not mine, it's a friend's. Yeah, I mean, he only has eyes for everything on his room. What's he doing over there? I thought we already learned this lesson. Or was it only the sister that was taking that precaution? <laughs> so, since we have regularly see, regularly see Kentucky reading jump, is he still not there? <sighs> Of course, you wouldn't escape those kind of situations in the stuff, but Tucker Tin reads. <laughs> so, on a return of the the real Tucker Tin. You see, these, this is the real conversation that you need to get into.
Where is the greatest hiding place of all? So let's go searching. Hmm. I mean, the fact that Gintoki knows all of the locations. Although some of them do seem a bit clandestine. Underneath the bottom drawer of a chest of drawers. Rookie mistake. I mean, actually, that might be a good idea. I mean, the fact that all of those magazine covers have a lot more effort put into them than like, any of the other posters around the room, or even the, like, a lot of the Gintama artwork itself. I think they had fun drawing those. I mean, that is a proper representation of his sister. Just change your way of thinking. Now, is it... I make things look... look sneaky and like you're trying to hide something, and then, yeah. It would draw their attention. How many times has Kentucky had to go through this to be so so advanced? Make things obvious. Sometimes out in the open is the best hiding place. I guess you'll, you'll have some other conversations to have before the magazines. I also like to believe that Gintoki just has all of these things ready to go. Well, apart from the body pillow, that's just Shin Patrice. That uh, would be kind of a, a start. <laughs> Just brick the wall up. No one can come in or out there. Someone... Someone's having fun with this. It's not me, but someone's having fun with this. Why? Why do you, would you want to stand and w witness this? <laughs> it's like a little treasure hunt. Make. Just what she always wanted.
I mean, has any of Gintoki's plans like this ever... ever come to some sort of fruition like it... You hadn't finished setting it up, had you? Also, why does he have that many all of a sudden? She's seen worse. Is this just an elaborate story to uh, remind him that he's forgotten about her birthday? That scene was actually, she has actually just opened the door and is witnessing all of this. What a diverse crowd. Boku. <laughs> Please, someone relieve me from this terrible situation. Oh, he's having an existential crisis now. So they'd have to, what, go through it to find out. Put it next to Dragon Ball. I mean, the solution was there all along. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, he did actually put clothes on, finally. You left all the rest of it up. Good. Tied away, tidied away my things. I mean, Shinpachi can always just go to the fallout, fallback position of it's Gintoki's fault. He's just a bad influence. Transfer all the blame onto him. That one's believable. Why is it that these episodes, which are really quite dumb, and also two stories in two halves of an episode, are also somewhat rewarding? You know, if you want to see Shinpachi in like a tortoiseshell bondage, which obviously we all do. And I have learned so many good techniques now, thanks to this. Okay. Wait, we're getting Yamazaki again already so soon? Oh, Hemorrhoid Ninja. Now, I wonder how many of us would have gotten slightly better grades if we had the likes of Gintaki teaching us. Zero would be the answer. Shinpachi now probably under house arrest and his entire movement thoroughly scrutinised and observed. Well, it was nice knowing him. And you are all free to now run and try and find new places to hide all of your shit. Of course, unless you're in the 21st century, in which case physical medium has kind of died out. Just remember to clear your history and delete your cache. 
there's really not much more I can say. So, unless you want to be hogtied and strapped to the ceiling, you best come back for more. And if you liked this episode, please let me know by leaving a like down below, maybe even a comment, and if you think I deserve it, and if you want to make sure not to miss out in the future, subscribe to the channel. But for today, hide everything that's embarrassing for you. Watching this channel might be one of them. And I'll see you in the next one. My patrons obviously think that I'm their dirty little secret which they don't actually want to hide. So, if you want to air things out in the open, and therefore actually making it so people don't want to see, consider joining onto my Patreon as well. Because I need to thank Sal, Electricant, Arthur, Noku, Raywin, Shiwan, Mecca, Matt, Stinsfire, Jennifer Rojas, Gurley, 1234W, Kite, Saltytron, Cardboard, Dark Shadow, 7899, Maurizio Lozano, and everyone else. Because at least they haven't stuffed me at the bottom of their sock drawer.